Welcome to Pastor Andrew's Inspirations. If you enjoy these videos, please click on the red subscribe button below and the bell for more. Welcome to our online church, a congregation made up of many from around the world. No offering is necessary. Subscribing and watching videos will keep us alive under God's watchful eyes. Today we will be reading Genesis chapter 46. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Matthew Henry wrote, Even as to those events and undertakings which appear most joyful, we should seek counsel, assistance, and a blessing from the Lord, attending on His ordinances, and receiving the pledges of his covenant love. We expect his presence and that peace which it confers. In all removals we should be reminded of our removal out of this world. Nothing can encourage us to fear no evil when passing through the valley of the shadow of the death but the presence of Christ. Genesis Chapter 46 And Israel took his journey with all that he had, and came to Beersheba, and offered sacrifices unto the God of his father Isaac. And God spake unto Israel in the visions of night, and said, Jacob, Jacob. And he said, Here I am. And he said, I am God, the God of thy father. Fear not to go down into Egypt, for I will there make of thee a great nation. I will go down with thee into Egypt, and I will also surely bring thee up again. And Joseph shall put his hand upon thine eyes. And Jacob rose up from Beersheba. And the sons of Israel carried Jacob their father, and their little ones, and their wives, in the wagons which Pharaoh had sent to carry him. And they took their cattle and their goods, which they had gotten in the land of Canaan, and came into Egypt. Jacob and all his seed with him, his sons and his sons' sons, with him his daughters and his sons' daughters, and all his seed brought he with him into Egypt. And these are the names of the children of Israel, which came into Egypt. Jacob and his sons, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and the sons of Reuben, Hanok, and Phalu, and Hezron, and Carmi, and the sons of Simon, Jemuel, and Jamin, and Ohad, and Jakin, and Zohar, and Shal, the son of the Canaanitish woman, and the sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari, and the sons of Judah, Er, and Onan, and Shelah, and Perez, and Zara. But Er and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Perez were Hezron, and Hamul, and the sons of Issachar, Tola, and Fuba, and Job, and Shimron, and the sons of Zebulun, Sered, and Elon, and Jaleel. These be sons of Leh, which she bare unto Jacob in Padanaram, and his daughter Dinah. All the souls of his sons and his daughters were thirty and three, and the sons of Gad, Ziphion, and Haggai, Shunai, and Esbon, Eri, and Arodai, and Areli, and the sons of Asher, Jemna, and Ishua, and Isua, and Beria, and Sarah, their sister, and the sons of Beria, Heber, and Malkiel. These are the sons of Zilpah, whom Laban gave to Leh, his daughter, and these she bare unto Jacob, even sixteen souls. 
the sons of Rachel, Jacob's wife, Joseph, and Benjamin. And unto Joseph in the land of Egypt were born Manasseh and Ephraim, which Asenath, the daughter of Potiphera, priest of On, bare unto him. And the sons of Benjamin were Bela, and Becher, and Ashbel, Gera, and Naman, Ehi, and Rosh, Muppin, and Huppim, and Ard. These are the sons of Rachel, which were born to Jacob. All the souls were fourteen. And the sons of Dan, Hushim, and the sons of Naphtali, Jazeel, and Guni, and Jezer, and Shillam. These are the sons of Bilhah, which Laban gave unto Rachel his daughter. And she bare these unto Jacob. All the souls were seven, all the souls that came with Jacob into Egypt, which came out of his loins. Besides Jacob's sons' wives, all the souls were threescore and six. And the sons of Joseph, which were born him in Egypt, were two souls, all the souls of house of Jacob, which came into Egypt, were threescore and ten. And he sent Judah before him unto Joseph, to direct his face unto Goshen. And they came into the land of Goshen, and Joseph made ready his chariot, and went up to meet Israel, his father, to Goshen and presented himself unto him, and fell on his neck, and went on his neck a good while. And Israel said unto Joseph, Now let me die, since I have seen thy face, because thou art yet alive. And Joseph said unto his brethren, and unto his father's house, I will go up, and show Pharaoh, and say unto him, my brethren and my father's house, which were in the land of Canaan, are come unto me. And the men are shepherds, for their trade hath been to feed cattle. And they have brought their flocks, and their herds, and all that they have. And it shall come to pass, when Pharaoh shall call you, and shall say, What is your occupation? That ye shall say, Thy servant's trade hath been about cattle from our youth even until now both we and also our fathers that ye may dwell in the land of Goshen for every shepherd is an abomination unto the Egyptians this is the book of Genesis chapter 46 please stay tuned for Genesis chapter 47 coming soon Adonai Nisi the Lord is our banner Remember, if you like these videos, please click on the red subscribe button below and the bell for more. God's blessings be upon this message and us all.